Hello, CFFs. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How are you guys doing? I hope you are blessed and having a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope that your day has been full of love and joy, peace, happiness, and all of God's goodness. So today is Tuesday. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Tuesday? A bit cold, but <laughs> well, at least here in the Central Valley, I hope your weather is the kind of weather that you want and you enjoy. Some people enjoy the snow, some people enjoy the summer and the heat, and some people enjoy the fall, which I enjoy the fall. So <laughs> I hope your weather is just what you want it to be. So today on Tuesday, I am here to give my second scripture for the day. As I said, I wanted to try and do a scripture every single day leading up to January 1st. We're fastly approaching. I'm so excited and I'm just excited for the new year and what it holds. And I wanted to share this scripture with you all. Um, just um briefly i'm not gonna be here a long time so um this is my bible my i love my bible <laughs> this bible right here it's battered and beaten and i have to kind of hold it together but have you ever had a Bible and you use it all the time and then when you get a new Bible, it's like the books of the Bible have switched up on you. <laughs> They're still in the same place, but it's like you can't find it. <laughs> I have a new one, but I just, I always come back to this one. So anyway, today we're going to read Deuteronomy and we're going to be in chapter 28. And we're going to be in verse 8, 28 and 8. So we want to, as I said on yesterday, we want to prepare our new year. We want to go in our new year with great and high expectations, knowing that the blessings of God is there and that we are setting the pace for what the new year is going to hold. And it's going to be full of God's blessings. 2023 is going to be a year full of blessings. Let's, um, let's command that. Let's stand in faith on that. Let's believe that. And let's hold God to his word. So here we go. Deuteronomy 28 verse 8 says, the Lord shall command the blessings upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thy hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. He had promised the Israelites something. He had promised them that they would be um they would be blessed and their storehouses would be full. So we stand on that promise. We are part of Abraham, even though we might be Gentiles, but as long as we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and him crucified, we are part of that covenant and we can stand on the blessings of God and know that he has good things for us. I tell you, he has some great things for us. So today we stand on Deuteronomy 28 and 8. Lord, we ask that you fill our storehouses. We ask that our health be uh, good and line up with your word. We ask that our children, our grandchildren, and our friends and our family, Lord, we ask that your blessings overtake them. Let them overflow upon them. Let this be the year of harvest. Let this be the year of plenty. Let this be the year of good health and all good things. Lord, we stand on your word 
and we believe you. We stand in faith and we trust that you're going to do just that. And if he did it for the children of Israel, guess what? He will do it for us. Why? Because we're all part of the body. We're Christian friends and family. Yes, we are. And we're part of the body of Christ and we can hold him to his word. He said we could. So we hold him to his word. We stand on his word and we're believing that when 2023 comes in, his blessings will overflow. Not to say that we're not blessed. We're blessed when we woke up this morning, when he touched us and said, wake up. We were blessed then and to go throughout our day with no hurt or harm. We were blessed then, but now we're asking God to fill our barns, fill our homes, fill us with the abundance of his goodness and mercy and all of his good blessings. Let it overflow, let our cup run over, let our barns be filled, let our health be good. And we claim this in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we ask that everyone that hears this prayer will stand in faith and hold you to your word as you said, that we could ask anything as long as we asked in faith. So ask in faith, know that it's going to come. Believe that it's coming to you. Believe that it's over. Believe that your health is getting better. Believe that your spiritual life is, is getting even stronger. Believe that your financial life is turning around. Everything is coming together and you will not struggle. You will not want. You will not be in need because the Lord says that we could stand on his word and we could ask him just that. So I hope this scripture has encouraged you Deuteronomy 28 and 8. Let's get our 2023, 2023 year <laughs> already mapped out for us. Let's command those blessings. We command that the blessings run ahead of us and be there when we get to 2023. We ask God this in the name of his son. So until tomorrow, I'll see you on Wednesday. Remember, find three good things in your day. Focus on that. There's some good in it. Find some good things. Focus on that. If you got more than three, write down all your good things. If you find three, hallelujah, write down the three. Paste it on the, uh, put it on a piece of paper. Paste it on your wall where you can look at it and say, that was a good part of my day, and I thank God for it. So if you're new here, I hope you will consider becoming part of the CFF family, Christian Friends and Family. And if you're brand new to the channel, I want to say thank you for subscribing. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for your comments. And for those that have been with me for a while, thank you so much. You encourage my heart each and every time I upload a video and you leave me your comments or you send me an email. It is really encouragement to me. So thank you. Hit the subscribe button if you're if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you're notified each and every time I upload a video. And give me a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. So thank you guys, and until tomorrow, I will see you again. Bye.